<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and here we are back with another Xbox 360 related tutorial for modified systems if you have a RGH or JTAG or really just a hard modded system. Now, as you can see, I'm sitting here on my own RGH in Aurora, and what I've been doing here recently is I've been just making sure I have my Xbox Live Arcade library and really just my digital library in one place here. So you can see that I've been able to add some good stuff and some bad stuff. There's plenty of good games here, but also Yars is not a good example, but it is something that I own and I want it on here. However, I'm going to be showing you all, if you have a modified system, how you can get DLC and Xbox Live Arcade games on here and unlock them to work. So therefore, you don't just have to be on the retail side and they are not tied to a single gamer tag or even the console that was originally licensed for that. So for this, you're going to need a few things here if you're going to be following along. We are going to need ideally two Xbox 360s, because even though I'm on a hard modded side right here, I'm going to be showing you all myself getting the games and content as well too. For that, I'm actually going to be going into my retail side. Now, if you already have it on hand, or maybe you have a hard modded system and you're using a stealth server, that is up to you. However, I'm going to be going with the option of really having one system as a retail and another one as a modified system that I'm keeping offline. Or I guess in this case, you could even use a dual NAND system, just treat it as two systems. You will also need your account that has the games and content that is on there, and it would be recommended to have a USB flash drive, because I'm also going to be using two different hard drives for this process here. So for this, of course, you will of course need the hard modded system, and we are going to need a stock system or just a way of getting onto the marketplace. For that, I'm actually going to reboot into my stock side and get on there. All right, so over on the retail side, if you have not done so already, let's get our storage set up. I recommend you go over to your system settings, go into storage, and plug in your USB flash drive that you're going to be using here. For this, I'm going to be personally using my USB drive to not only transfer files to and from, uh, from one side of the system to another, since I do use separate drives, and in your case, probably separate systems, but this is also going to be used to save the program that we're going to need later on for our RGH. To do this, you can come over to the USB drive, and if it has not been formatted already, you can hit Y while highlighting it for the device options. Make sure you back up any data that you care about, and then go through the formatting process here. Now, I already have some data I care about on here, and it's already formatted for the 360, so I'm not going to be doing that here. But once our USB drive is all set up, you can either transfer content to the USB drive or download it there directly if you wish to. With all that done, let's go ahead and grab our games and content. So you might already have some content on here, but if not, you can go ahead and download any that you need to or purchase it or what have you. But I'm going to get a Xbox Live Arcade game first. And I know exactly the game I'm going to be re-downloading here. It's this one, The Maw, which I bought a while ago, really enjoyed, and if you have not played this game, I would definitely recommend doing so. But either way, you can come in here, and keep in mind in 2023, uh, browsing this is a little bit painful. <laughs> you're you're going to experience things just like this. <laughs> but let's go ahead and try to go back into here. You know, at this point, here's a good example. It might be a better experience to get these on the RGH compared to the retail side. <laughs> but either way, as you can see, I have purchased this before because I have the option to download it again. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I will say the experience of browsing the marketplace is not very good at this point. However, uh, well, at least downloads are not all that bad. So you'll be able to download at a decent speed on your console at least. But there we go. Let's go ahead and let that cook and download. So I'm grabbing the maw for my Xbox Live content, but what about DLC? Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I have one piece of DLC in mind that I'm going to grab here. So let's go over to Fallout. And it doesn't just have to be with these ones here. It could be whatever DLCs that you are wanting specifically. These are just the examples that I'm using. It, it really keeps doing this. It really, This is welcome to the experience of XBLA on the 360 in 2023. <laughs> but either way, here, it's not the game I'm wanting. It's going to be the DLC itself. And at least we have the Xbox Live stuff downloaded. So we have the mall that's complete. There is uh, certainly not no items in here. <laughs> let's, let's try this again. All right, here, uh, third time was the charm for this, but let's grab the uh, Operation Anchorage DLC. 
This one I just don't have downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And after way too long, we got to this point here, so we can set that to download. So there is our DLC. As you can see, it is now going. I also do want to disclose this and say I don't recommend playing Fallout 3 on the Xbox 360, but again, I'm using this as an example since this is DLC I already have purchased. And again, thankfully, the actual finding and initiating the download stuff is the most painful, but the actual downloads are not all too bad. So we have all that completed. Now with our Xbox Live Arcade game and some DLC in mind, let's go ahead and get it transferred over. For this, I'm going to be using a USB drive, as I said, and for this here, we can come over to System, Storage, you should already have a USB drive formatted if you're transferring it to another system, but from here, I'm going to go into Hard Drive, Games and Apps, and let's go ahead and grab Fallout. So it's going to be in here. Now you just need to enter the DLC itself and at this point you can choose to either copy or move it. I'm going to copy it out to my USB drive. So there we go. And let that DLC copy over. Now with that done we can come over and grab the Xbox Live Arcade game we got which should be the Maw. Which I really wish they just put it in the M section here but alas this is how they did things. So we're going to do the exact same thing here, just copy it over to our storage, and there we go, we should be all done. So at this point now, we can completely turn off our console, and I'd recommend unplug your USB drive once it is turned off, take it over to your computer, because we are going to need a program before we go back over to our modded system. The program we're going to need is going to be linked down below in the description with a great guide as well too, and just giving some extra information over from console mods. You can just go ahead and find the link for XM360, click on this, and then you can download this from the download link here. Once you have this downloaded and saved somewhere you can easily find it, just right click this and you can extract it into its own folder. You should have the folder here and inside it should have all of these files, which we don't need to worry about all too much. However, that's all it is. So there's not too much to the program, but it is a nice little powerful thing. I'm actually going to rename this completely to XM360 just to clean it up a little bit. But once it is extracted, we can right click, copy this out, go over to your formatted USB drive that's been set up in the Xbox 360, go in here, and you can right click and paste it right here. Once that's all copied over, we can come back out, right click the USB drive, eject it, and now move it over to your modded RGH or JTAG system. All right, now once our modded system has been booted up, we are going to need to take our USB drive, plug it in, and we can copy over the XM360 directory. So I'm going to be using Aurora, but if you use XCX menu, freestyle, freestyle dash, you just need to use something that allows you to copy files from the USB drive to an internal drive. So for this, I'm going to press the back button, go to file manager, go over to USB zero, and there is a XM360 directory. I'm going to press the X button here to select that, then come over to the left and hit A on this icon to copy it. I'm now going to go over to HDD1, go to Apps, and I'm going to paste it in here, just by going to the left and paste, along with all my other apps. And there we go, that is complete. Now we can also copy over the content that we actually need. So for this, you can open up the Guide button and exit out to the main dashboard by going to System Settings and hitting Yes. And once this comes up, go down to Storage, go down to your USB device, go to Games and Apps, and then select the files that you're wanting here. For this, I'm going to be using the MAW, of course, so you can select this here, A, and you can either copy it or I'm actually going to move it over since I don't need it on the USB drive. There we go. Once that's done, you can do the same thing with any DLC that you have, either copy or move it. In this case, I'm going to move it over to the hard drive. And finally, I actually forgot I had these two. So if you also have an item, like a game that has multiple pieces of DLC, saves whatever in there, and you want to transfer that over, you can just highlight the whole game itself, hit the Y button, and then either copy or move it. I forgot I had these two on this USB drive, so I'm going to go ahead and just move these as well. Why not have them on this system? So here we go. All of our content that we want over is now moved to the internal drive. So for this, I'm actually going to completely unplug my USB drive since it's no longer needed. And now we can bring up the guide 
and open up Aurora. You can just hit the Y button when the guide comes up, and if it's set as default, it should open back up. Now, give it a little bit of time here because it's going to start populating your games if you're using this or if you're using Freestyle. As you can see, XM360 is right there, but I should also have, there we go, Sonic CD, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and the Maw. However, there's one more step we need to do to actually unlock everything, which is going to be unlocking it. So for this, we can now, for the last step, open up XM360, hit the A button. Now keep in mind here, I'm going to keep this in for a bit. If it just boots up to a black screen, this is expected. You are going to have to wait a little bit for it every single time to initialize. So you're going to be sitting at a black screen for around a minute or so. Don't freak out, just let it do its thing. And here we go, once it comes up, it looks like this. Now, the first option, if you've never used this before, is going to be Scan All, which is going to be on the left side of the screen. Just tap the A button to let it scan, and it's going to scan your internal drive. Now, it should bring up the files that are on here, so I actually do have these that have been unlocked prior, but I also have the MAW, which has not been unlocked. So, to unlock your Xbox Live Arcade content, you just come over to the left, select Unlock XBLA, and tap the A button. Wait a few seconds, and any content that is locked, it will now unlock. Secondly, for DLC, you can come down to Show DLC. It should bring this up, and you can see that I only have Fallout 3 DLC on here, which is locked. So you do the exact same thing. Come over to the left, go down to Unlock DLC, hit the A button, and that's all you need to do. And if you ever need to repair file names, I guess you can do that. I haven't had to personally, but there we go. So we have that all done. You can press the B button to go back to the main screen, and from here you could also check out your title updates that are on the console itself, and you can also check out any game saves if you want to here. Now do keep in mind, every single time you add new Xbox Live Arcade or DLC content, you will have to rescan this. So let's say you add 5 more games or 5 more pieces of content here, you'd have to open up XM360, and then when it opens up, you have to hit rescan all, and you have to let it manually rescan. And at that point, you can then unlock or show DLC and then unlock the DLC. But every time you add new stuff, you have to do a rescan. Just keep that in mind. Now with all that complete, we can come down here and go to exit dash. So now we're back over at Aurora. For this, we can go ahead and launch our game, The Maw. And the nice thing is, again, this is technically a separate system that I am running it on. I do not have the account on here that I had gotten this game on before, but it is working properly, it is loading up successfully, and we should be all good to go. Plus, on top of that, it should not have an option to unlock the game once we boot up into it because we have already had it unlocked. So, as you can see, there's no option to unlock the game. We're all good at this point. Alright, funny enough, you all might have noticed I don't have Fallout 3 installed on here, so I had to go and grab my disc for Fallout 3 and pop it in, but I do want to note one thing for DLCs. Actually, maybe a couple. The first thing is to keep in mind that it says here on the XM360 page, note that this will not change your DLC region. So make sure that the DLC and the game you have are going to be matching regions in that regard. However, the second thing to keep in mind for DLC, I know I said one thing, but this is important here, is that you might boot up a game such as Fallout 3 and you'll notice that your DLC is not detected. That's not a fault of the game or the DLC, that's just how this step is going to work. You see there's many games out there that do not recognize DLC until there is a title update for that DLC. So for that, in the case of Fallout 3 for example, you would hit the Y button and you can go down to title updates, hit A, press the RB button, and I would recommend just download the latest title update you can from the Unity Marketplace. So I have not played it on this console before, but as you can see, it is downloading version 3, which I thought there was more versions of this, but either way, we have it installed. So now you can go to the left using the LB button and hit the A button to enable the latest update. So at this point here, I can press B to go back, and I'm going to boot up this game. It should apply the title updates, and it will take a little bit longer since it's playing off a DVD, but mind you, we're going to test out the DLC here. <laughs> when booting up the game itself, it should load in with the title updates, and it should say that right at the beginning of Aurora, but you can also press the guide button, and if you look in the bottom right, you should see disc 1, TU3, so that does signify this is running the third title update. Now keep in mind, this is just a DLC test here, and keep in mind that every single game is going to show and handle DLC differently. 
However, I've played enough Fallout 3 to know that I hit the press start button right here. It will load in extra content, and if I go down to downloads and check this out, it successfully shows that Operation Anchorage, which is the DLC you all showed that I downloaded, transferred, and unlocked, is showing up in this menu, meaning that it is available to use while playing Fallout 3, so the DLC is successfully installed and unlocked. It's probably going to be different for the games that you are playing, but do keep in mind here that, as you can see, it is detected for this example, so our DLC unlock is complete. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully this video was quick enough and it was able to help you all out to get a grasp on Xbox Live Arcade content, DLC content, as well as XM360. Thankfully, it's pretty simple to set this up here, but I had just realized that I've covered a lot of stuff on the 360, but I had not covered XM360 in regards to this. So go ahead, get your content backed up and have fun with this. Either way, that is about it for this video here. If you enjoyed this video and it helped out, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone.